right. What's up guys, hope y'all are doing good. We're back out of here with another paint video. Um, this painting was pretty interesting for me. Uh, this was a commission piece and I had full range on it. So I had full range on design, colors, everything. He just said, man, uh, do your thing. Go as wild, go as crazy as you want. And uh, I think I did pretty good for the uh, size canvas that he wanted. Uh, this, the concept behind this is I kept it somewhat loose, especially in the background. Um, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I have, you know, these crazy wild dreams and uh, the landscape in the dream can be pretty crazy. It can change. And usually uh, in dreams, you know, it's somewhat like not complete. It's there, but it's not. Uh, and that's the way I wanted this background to be. And you'll see what I'm talking about right here. I kind of put it in this church mausoleum. I don't know. Maybe somebody can help me with kind of what it looks like or what y'all think it looks like. But I went for this kind of churchy windows that were open on this mountaintop. And uh, I didn't put a floor in it when I was painting it. You'll see in the video, it runs down. And I just liked how the floor quite, kind of matched the sky. I wasn't complete. So it kind of looks like one of those uh, dream backgrounds you have, or at least for me, what a dream would look like. It's like I said, it's there, but it's not complete kind of thing. Um, as far as the bike, I put this purple in the roof here of the, uh, of the church. So I just wanted something super, super contrasting with that. So I went with bright orange. It looks good with the, uh, the sky background here. And of course, blue flames on top of the orange and just a custom panhead chopper out front. Uh, tons and tons of pinstripe and even the columns of the uh, in between the windows here. And you'll notice all the little candles like, I don't know, like an old church or something would have, but uh, I don't know. It's kind of a wild concept, a little different from what I usually do. Uh, you usually see like castles and stuff in the background. So I guess you could say this is uh, inside of one of those castles or something. Uh, the the view from the mountaintop. So each column you can see, you can see in the background and it looks kind of, uh, I kept like almost evening colors. I did a little reflective sunlight off the clouds and just kept it, like I said, just that dreamscape looking place where maybe uh, it's, it's only accessible in your mind kind of thing. But that's the concept. Uh, I hope it's crazy and wild enough uh, for y'all and for obviously for him, but here you go. I don't know what I'll call this. So uh, I'm thinking custom chopper church. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, hope y'all enjoy and we'll catch you at the end of the video.
All right, guys, there it is. Another painting knocked out. Um, this is a custom piece, so uh, this was custom ordered, and I'm not going to do prints of this. I want this one to be a one-off, uh, just especially for him. Um, but with that being said, I really love this idea with the columns and it looking like uh, inside of a church or castle and the landscape thing where everything comes to a point. Um, you'll probably see in the video, I didn't draft it out or anything. I just took brush to canvas and whatever it come out to be, that's what it is. But I think it really, really works for this one. But if I ever do this sort of idea again, I'll probably do it bigger scale and really measure everything out, make sure of symmetry and uh, all that comes into play at that point where I can really cram some details in there and uh, I don't know, just expand on this idea a little bit more. But uh, speaking of prints and all that good stuff, check out jswmusic.com. I got that link down below. You can find all my prints, um, stickers, shirts, all that cool stuff. So shop around, get something, and I'll ship it to you. But other than that, uh, thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe, all that cool stuff, and we'll catch y'all in the next one.